what's up everybody I just wanted to review a program called Dr. Drum uh, basically digital beat making software I've seen a YouTube video on it on how it can make basically anyone very good at making beats you know they compare them to Dr. Dre and say hey five minutes you'll be making better beats than you'd ever know to, what to do with basically they said in five minutes you'd be a beat maker pro or just about you know on Dre's level at least I've used things before such as Fruity Loops, especially when it first came out, what, like 15 or years ago or something, or 10 years ago. Uh, I have played a little bit with the new Fruity Loops, um, and then when I saw this, I was like, hey, you know, that might be a good idea. So I just want to show you some of the, the pros and some of the cons, what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. I do want to start by saying it is available for $39.95 or $99. Um, it's called Dr. Drum. Okay, now there's an update. I tried to update it earlier. It crashed. I don't know. It said there was a problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that later. And this is basically what the interface looks like. You have the drums, bass, keys. These are all your uh, tracks. And then you have these tools down here, which is move, pencil, and erase. You have your play, stop, pause, back loop. Um, you got your upload to YouTube. Uh make it bigger, um, affiliates, help, video training. Video training, I wasn't too impressed by. Uh, the first day I downloaded it, it actually, uh, the site was, uh, it wasn't even going to this. Um, and they have basically Dr. Drum installation video, Dr. Drum basic beat making tutorial, and that basically sums up what it is in the word basic. Um, and Dr. Drum importing extra sound kits, platinum version. So I'll go back into the drum, Dr. Drum here. And basically when you want to start making a track, uh, you click on pencil, and then you'll go click on and measure, or whatever they're called, and you'll see this is highlighted beige. Uh, and then you go into drums, and um, first thing I don't like is they don't have measure counts. This is 16. Um, I think they're called measures or whatever and they don't have them cut off so it's easier maybe that can be added somewhere I haven't found it and uh, you can make your 16 count uh, beats here I'm just gonna make something easy and I do want to say they do have a large library of different drum kits everything from Urban Kit 3 Let's hear some of that. That's kind of cool. So, and then down here, you have your play, stop, pause, back, loop button. That's a little obnoxious. Now, if you want to erase, you have to go down here, switch to eraser, and then go up and erase. And this is one problem I've been having a lot, is that I cannot erase anything. I'll have to kind of manipulate it, go into something else, go into maybe a move tool, and then move back, and then maybe go into erase. Nope, it's still not working. Uh, so that's one thing I don't really like about it. Um, so we can go ahead and close out of this, and I'll go and select some bass now. Now, don't forget, when your eraser does work, don't go and click on something thinking it's the pencil, because I've erased something, and there's no undo button. Of course, you could probably save it, um, you know, every move you do or every beat you drop, but that's kind of annoying. So I wish there was an undo button or a redo button because I have erased a whole track um, just because of that. So I'm going to go ahead and I uh, have the pencil button, so I'm going to go ahead and do some bass now. Once again, they do have a wide variety of different bass. Let's go here. It's kind of loud. Um, let's try this. So if I wanted to select here, now I know I know the basic keys on a piano, and to be able to play this, it's not as simple as they made it out to be to me in my experience. But we'll go here and we'll go hit the back and we'll start playing. Okay, 
Yeah, that, that, that doesn't sound very good. You don't got to tell me. But um, they have each of these where you can adjust uh, the, the volume or the, you know, the highs, the lows, whatever. Uh, I'll go into keys real quick. Actually, I'll go back into this because I, I don't like what that sounds like at all. Um, let's go into a different bass kit. That's a little more mellow. Now let's see if we can get the race tool to work. Race tool. Work. Alright, let's go pencil. Move. Let's try to move one of these. Now let's try to erase it. So like I said, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. It it doesn't it doesn't work now though, so okay well anyway navigating around this they make it real easy to make short beats in my my experience um however would i buy it again no uh is there some room for improvements uh the user interface definitely this is this is just kind of uh you know i like maybe like a right click left click you know for on off uh moving tracks is fine I noticed, say, if I wanted to copy this right here, um, I didn't find any way to copy and paste. I wanted to copy, and then I was trying to figure out, let's pencil here, edit, paste. So obviously it doesn't copy and paste either. Uh, you can slow it down, you know, speed it up. And I have had it even uh, when I hit the rewind and play, I have them stall up too. And for $39.95...